for Heat Live, delivered by Papa John's. Don't you love daylight saving time? I mean, it's it's Saturday night, but the sun's still out. It's all good. There's the Heat's house, American Airlines Arena. Both the Nuggets and the Heat were on the hardwood in separate locations. How about this? Denver was in Florida, and the Heat were out of the state, but they're together right here. These guys absolutely love the, those type of challenges. And if you're a, a professional worth their salt, and if uh, we truly are a contending team, we'll find out about ourselves, one. But secondly, uh, this is what all players play the game for, uh, is to play games uh, that matter. Uh, they certainly will help us uh, going down the stretch uh, for the playoffs uh, to tighten up uh, the things that we need to tighten up, but also play against good competition. Not since the season's opening month has this team been scrutinized with such intensity. Over a three-week span that draws to a challenging conclusion tonight. The Heat has been measured and tested in a manner unlike any other team at any other time in recent memory. A series of defeats, both devastating and humiliating in nature, brought a proud core to its knees, evoking the kind of passion that would eventually help them rise again. While losses might slightly outnumber wins in this defining stretch of the season, the greater victory may already have been achieved in enduring and ultimately overcoming the heartbreaking hardships this most difficult period offered. In bending without breaking, this Heat team may have found its collective soul at just the right moment as a team with far greater resolve now confidently prepares for the battles that await in the postseason. Uh. Just be lipping out, but you're contributing, and that's exactly what this Heat team needs from that spot. And it looks like, uh, unfortunately, and fortunately, all at the same time, you may be out there on the floor a little bit more if Rio's knee issue is more than uh, what it seems. I mean, these guys opened up the court a lot for you, so you know the main thing I gotta do is just knock down the shot and uh, you know just get them the ball where they need to. And, you know, it's kind of easy job to do. No safety net behind him. Uh, the backup point guard will be either Dwayne Wade or LeBron James. But tonight, that all-star duo combined for 65 points, 33 for LeBron on 15 of 25, 32 for Wade. He made 10 of his 20 shots. He was also 11 for 13 from the free throw line. Did a good job, picked up three block shots defensively, but uh, picked it up after last night, a relatively quiet night last night, even though he had the three threes. But he was feeling it tonight in the back-to-back. -back. LeBron, another great job, 15 for 25 from the floor. His, his uh, field goal percentage just keeps going up as the season goes along. Hit another three tonight, had the six rebounds. Had uh, two assists, scored the 33 points, as you mentioned, Eric. And that J is really popping for LeBron, because once that goes in and they push up on him, then he takes it to the rim and finishes. So very difficult to guard, probably the most talented basketball player in the universe. All in all, Coach, I'd say LeBron had a pretty good weekend. 43 points in Atlanta last night and three quarters, 33 points tonight. Uh, the quick math would say 76 points over the weekend for LeBron. Well, kid, I am on fire. First quarter, Wade on fire as well. That's a yoke back. They call it a step back. That's a yoke back where I'm from. And then Wade, oh my goodness. Did he just rip the net right there? He might get up and throw it out. Cram it in the boot! Cram it! Oh, I need an Exmo. I need it now. I love the Exmo. I love air. And then LeBron James going to get involved as well. LeBron shot the ball 25 times. He made it 15 times. That's one of them right there. And then watch for the oop nasty ill not not from Rio. Want to see it again? Yeah. But you can see that one again. Sploosh! Sploosh! Second quarter, Joel, Joel Anthony. He is a block party all by himself. Oh, Canada. Oh, my goodness. And then young Ty Lawson. Now, here's a guy who can do some things. We knew he could do it, and now he's doing it right in front of you. Stealing the inbounds. Trifecta, you betcha. In the game, that man, he hit one three. You saw it right there. Then James taking the charge right there. That's how you play defense, and then get the rock and go long range, too. Then Bibby to end the half. That's simply tremendous. I'm proud of you there, Brooks. Good work. Maybe on the right, you have 14 points in this game. Let's go to the third quarter, all right? This is all about Bosch. Hit a jumper like a Bosch. How about a straightaway jumper like a Bosch? You want some and one basketball? Like a Bosch. 
He had 18 points when it was all said and done. You know, it was 10 of 11 from the free throw line. That might have gotten by it. And then, oh, here's LeBron. LeBron, he doesn't need a lot of room to get it done. But if you give him some room, eat it! Fourth quarter. Look, Denver wasn't going away. Look at Danny G. Three, Mendes. And then he's going to go baseline on you right here. Uh-oh. Did he try to get the hoop and the arm? I hope they didn't call that. Joel's still blocking shots. Somebody stopped the warden. Defense leads to fast breaks sometimes. I tell you this, Wade going, feeding. Oh, all three of them cats that are all-stars were involved on that one. And then Wade, if you could taste that one, that would be three licious. It would be. Fade away, see ya. Dwayne Wade, 10 of 20 along the way doing it. Damn, you know what, JR wasn't done. He likes to call himself the heat killer. Right, today was just kind of a flesh wound for him. It was not, it was not a, that painful. But then Chan, Chandler, as I told you, Denver would not go away. They did score 27 points in the fourth quarter. But then LeBron, oh, LeBron. Isn't he nice to have around? Really pleasant to have us as part of the ball club. 33 for LeBron, 32 for Dwayne. Chris Bosh messed around, got his fifth straight double, double, 18 and 11. Executive director of Miami Heat basketball, Ted Ballard, thinks he's funny. Did not, said he's not sure that those were my best highlights, but by was all said and done, 103 to 98. If you want to watch a replay of tonight's game, we kind of gave it to you during the highlights. They were so long, but also tonight at midnight, you can watch the entire broadcast. Heat basketball returns to Sun Sports Wednesday night from Detroit. Pistons basketball, 730 high definition. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For E. Reed, the coach, and K. Hugh, I'm Jay Jax. Thank you so much for watching. Good night, South Florida. Here's a final take for you.